Hello, this video is showing the installation of Honda's OEM tailgate lock for the 2019 Honda Ridgeline. It will also work on the 2017 and the 2018. Here are the parts, the pieces, the instruction manual, and the tools required. First up is taping around the uh, OEM lock so to reduce the chance of scratching when I take it out. I had to cover up the license plate there. After that's all taped up, first order business, three screws off of the top cap. These are just standard Phillips screws right here. Then taking a rubber mallet and giving it a good smack on the left hand side to move the top cap over to the right. I didn't hit it quite hard enough the first time, so I had to give it a little tap again to move it a little more. All these white clips slide off of the top cap and stay stuck in. I'm just using a little you know, as far as remove them. I did break a few of the clips. I attribute that to the fact that it was 35 degrees out when I did this video. Um, I didn't break all of them, so I spaced out the good ones on the ends and on the middle and see how I would install. T30 Torx to remove a total of seven pieces here to remove the back cover of the tailgate. Comes off no problem. Obviously, I'm speeding up the video a bit here. Okay, need to remove the tailgate handle first. So it's unplugging the electrical connection for the camera and the one bit of linkage uh, snapped off there. I have a little trouble with the plug to get it unplugged, but I did. Also, it's got a little plastic pop into the tailgate that I needed to pop off. I had to go grab a little tool to do that with. It's always good to have the right tools. Put it underneath the plastic, between the plastic and the metal, and lever up on it, and it pops off. Here we go. Almost. Yep. Popped off. Two 10 millimeter bolts uh, hold the handle in place. Be careful not to. Um, Drop them into the middle of the tailgate. I just use a pair of needle nose to get them out there. Pretty easy to do. I'm holding the handle so it doesn't fall out when I remove the last bolt. I don't want again. Don't want to take the chance of scratching up my tailgate there. Take that bolt out, and then I need to feed the linkage and the camera wire through the holes um, and maneuver around the opening of the lock of the, of the uh, tailgate. And there she is. She's out. Need to remove the camera from the old handle and reinstall it in a new one. Um, the tips that I read on the uh, forum uh, show that these are hard screws to remove. Make sure you get a screwdriver that fits well. Uh, more importantly, is how you're screwing into and tapping the plastic on the new handle. Um, I got hold of some wax here to clean up the lubricate the threads. Um, beeswax would be a good choice. I didn't have any. This is a little, this wax was a little harder, but it worked fine. Um, obviously, using a towel to protect the painted surface on the front of the new handle. So again, just make sure everything fits tight, and just slowly work it in until it sits nice and tight. Again, you're kind of tapping the plastic with the screw here. Uh, no problem there. There's a clip that has to be installed that's going to hold the key cylinder in place that's not present on the old tailgate handle. Orientate in the right place and then just a screw that holds it in place um, through the metal speed clip. New linkage locked in place. Maneuver all the linkage and the wire up through the new hole. Careful again not to scratch. I plugged it in just as a way of holding the handle. I grabbed the socket this time that's magnetic to reduce the chance of uh, dropping the screw into the tailgate there. Worked much better. I set to do it loose at first. Install the linkage, lock down. And you can see if the cylinder works. Yep, absolutely. It turns. Next step up is removing this little purple connector on the cable. The, um, the tailgate kit comes with a new plastic uh, locking tab. It actually is longer to support the cable a little more. Uh, I guess there's a little more stress put on it when you're when it tries to lift the handle 
with it locked. Just reading through the instructions at the moment here, double checking that I've got the right piece. Oh, also need to remove this one temporarily um, to provide clearance for the uh, new mechanism. Sorry about my coke getting in the way there. Pop that off now. Pop the new one in place. I use a little flat blade screwdriver to push it down through the hole. Once I get it out of the plastic bag, there we go. Didn't want to go finger it with my finger, so again, I just grabbed the screwdriver to put a little muscle into pushing it down in here, lock the clip in place. Push the pin in and lock it back on. You can see that it's probably twice the length of the original one. Nice and tight. Next up is removing four 10 millimeter bolts. My little impact driver wasn't quite strong enough to break them free, so I started with a ratchet handle just to loosen them. You just break them all free. And then I grabbed my impact, small impact gun again to um, remove them the rest of the way. I needed clearance for this last bolt because the linkage was in the way. An intelligent person would have just popped it loose, and I realized that here in a moment. Oh yeah, just move it out of the way. Again, sorry for the coat. And now I have access to that temporarily removed from that yellow top. I've got access to that last bolt so there. You don't remove anything there, you just take them out. And then the new bracketry bolts in on top of it. You need it. I gotta move the linkage around the front side that I had removed earlier. There we go. Sorry for the focus going in and out as I move my coat in the way of the picture. I made the mistake of putting them in a little too snug first, and that one I'm working on right now, I didn't want to tap in to the bolt, so I had to loosen up the other one on the left to um, move the plastic, move the bracket around just enough to thread it in place. Did it by hand. I want to take a chance of cross threading there. Sorry about that. There we go. Now it's item all in place. And almost done already. It doesn't take long. Make sure all the linkages are locked back in place and snapped in place properly. Yep. And now there's a new linkage that comes from the key cylinder over to the new bracket. First up to is install two new little K um Linkage clamps. I'm not sure what they're called, but that sounds good. Figuring out which way the linkage bar uh, positions in place. Got it right the first time. Of course, I had a 50 50 chance of getting it right. Before I snapped them in place, I just moved them walk back and forth to make sure it was moving properly. It is. Again, double checking the instructions and snap in those locks in place to hold the linkage in position. Looking good. And that's it on the instructions. Everything, everything says wants you to test it out first to make sure it works before you um, put the tailgate cover back on. So I'll close the tailgate and give it a quick test. A lot of people are reading or are actually paying to get the cylinder rekeyed uh, before they install it. I decided not to do that in my application. It's going to work better just to have a big full size key out. I'll actually be locking and moving this around on quite regularly, and I don't want to keep taking out the emergency key inside of the key pop. It seems like more trouble, so I'm just going to keep the full size key out. T30 Torx to put the cover back in place. I looked at all the footage that I recorded, and I only recorded about just under 30 minutes of footage. Now, I stopped it a couple of times to go grab a tool out of the uh, shop, my workshop. So, really start to finish with the tools and everything. It was took me less than 45 minutes to knock this out. And that includes starting and stopping the um, <laughs> my iPhone a few times for doing the recording. 
lining all those white pieces back up. I had a couple of them that weren't quite locked into their proper place, so I'm gonna take the tape out of the way so it doesn't get caught underneath the top cap. And, I, and as I said, some of these were broken, so I wasn't sure how snug it was going to fit. I figured if it was looser than I wanted it to be, I'd wait till warmer weather came up, and I would just take it back off and replace the ones that are broken. But it felt pretty solid, and it's not moving at all. So I think I'm probably, and if it changes this summer in warm weather and feels like it loosens up, I'll worry about that when the time comes. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't lie to the again. All right, removing the tape to protect that I used to protect the tailgate. And she is all done. Give another quick test. So it's actually open when it's horizontal. It's locked when it's vertical. I had it backwards at first. Key horizontal is open. Vertical is locked. Hope this helped out. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a great day.